now I look back and I'm like, that was an amazing experience that honestly will never happen again. People don't think it's like that big of a deal to like be Jewish and like, but I really do believe that like it's a really like a great thing to like stay close with. And one of my kids said to me, mom, how come you find every Jew, every place we get? My name is Ronnie Saltzman Gutten, and I started out teaching religious school. And I've done some programming for Jewish Elder Care of Rhode Island, but I've been a camp director for the last 20 years. I'm Courtney Weiner. I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Stone High School. Hi, I'm Jamie Blacker. I go to All Rings High School in Easton, Massachusetts. My name is Brittany Kaplan. I'm 17 years old, and I go to Stone High School. My name is uh, Sam in Dallas, and I'm the executive director for Hill Council of New England. I love being a Hebrew school teacher. I still teach a few hours a week. Um, I think that many of us in my generation remember Hebrew school as that burden we didn't want to do. So I sort of made it important to me uh, to make sure things were fun to make sure that kids have to use their brains and learn how to problem solve, and to make sure that the things that kids are learning Jewishly help them in their whole lives, not just when they step foot in synagogue. I went to Hebrew school at Temple High Shalom in Easton. I went from kindergarten to seventh grade, and I think that Hebrew school was a great part of my Jewish education because I learned a lot from it, and I learned what the importance is to be Jewish and I made a lot of connections via friends and I still talk to them today and we all kind of are, have our own Jewish connection and we love going there because every week we learn something new about our religion. I met a bunch of new friends at Hebrew school and that was something new for me because at the public school that I go to I don't have a bunch of Jewish friends but getting to meet a bunch of new Jewish kids was like a really cool experience for me. I was bat mitzvahed in 2012, so I was in seventh grade, and a lot of hard work went into being bar, bat mitzvahed. Um, months and months of practicing and going over prayers. The bat mitzvah process was we had a bat mitzvah tutor who helped us uh, learn our prayers easily. So it wasn't it was a one on one process rather than a group process. And then um, the morning of the bat mitzvah, we would have a service, and then it was either the kiddush lunch or the um, afternoon party or the night party, which is where all the friends and family gathered together. And like, it was your celebration of being 13 and like finally becoming a woman in a Jewish eye. I think that meant fit to me in like the Jewish religion and like becoming an adult. And it was like this big, it was this big deal, but like more like in my family, it was like a really big deal for my grandparents for me to get bat mitzvah because they didn't get bat mitzvah. Um, so it was really cool for like me, be, for them to be able to see me get bat mitzvah and like, see how much it meant to them. Personally, what being bat mitzvah meant was to um, becoming a woman and learning more and being educated more on being a Jewish woman and living in an environment where Jewish being Jewish is okay and having a sense of religion and being more connected to God in that kind of way. Something that I was really looking forward to um, leading up to my bat mitzvah was getting lifted up on the chair. Um, when it actually happened to my, at my bat mitzvah, it was quite terrifying, but it was definitely something that I'll remember forever. The tradition that is important to me was the candle lighting ceremony, because that was where I could honor not just me, but my friends and family, and also we had a good luck candle, which also um, was in remembrance of my two grandparents that have passed away, which was really important to me, because I wanted to incorporate them somehow. a dream to be a camp director. I started going to camp when I was eight years old and I loved it from the very beginning and I moved my way through to being a counselor and then I ran arts and crafts and then I was assistant director and then when I became director it was like a dream. I was a camper for six years, went to Israel and then I was counselor. I started in second grade and went for a total of eight years. It was probably the best experience of my entire life and it was the best really the best thing I've ever done. Um, I met so many friends and it like really brought me closer to like being Jewish and like what that really meant. Grand like it didn't really mean like, oh, believing in God, but like it meant like having fun, like enjoying the prayers and like not just doing them because you had to, but like doing, doing them because you wanted to. And we like looked forward to Friday night Shabbat and like being with everyone. It was just a really great time. 
I went to camp at Camp Dory in Wakefield, Rhode Island. I went for six years. And camp really was a special place for me because I bonded with so many great people and I met so many great friends. And um, it was just an amazing experience overall because I got to do services every Friday night and Saturdays was like more of a relaxation day, which I never got to experience at home. That was like a new thing for me when I first started. And at meals, we said prayers and I love that because at home, I like didn't really know so many prayers as I did when I got to camp and I learned so many new things. Like having young, like Jewish friends, like a lot of kids don't get to experience that. And I just think it's a great connection to bring everyone together from different states and even different towns if you live in the same state. It just is a great experience. We just all get each other and that's the best part because you can be weird in front of them. You can do whatever you want with your camp friends and they love you for who you are and you just love them for who they are and they'll be with you from um, camp to college to getting married. They just will always be with you. In modern times, Israel is that place that really connects Jews. I think that no matter how you live your life Jewishly, Israel is that place whether you're secular but feel culturally Jewish. There are plenty of Israelis like that too. And this land where everything we read about and everything we study about and you go and all of a sudden, you know, you see where certain things happened. It has, I think it has a lot more meaning for most of us. I traveled to Israel with my camp, Camp Dory, and we went in the summer of 2016 and I went to explore more of my culture. I think it's very important that in American Jewish overnight camps we make connections with Israeli counselors. I think that the role that Israel plays is expressed to us through the people um, first and then I think that they make it um, they make us want to sort of have drive and ambition towards getting to Israel. When I went to Israel it really strengthened my religion because I finally realized like wow I need to embrace it more I need to really act like I'm like Jewish because I need I feel a part of Israel now that I went there and I want to go back and I want to enjoy more of it and going for a month really opened my, my eyes because I feel so much more closer to my religion and I, I definitely feel that I am more religious now than I was before. The wall is in Jerusalem and a lot of people call it the Kotel or the Wailing Wall and it's the holiest place for Jews to go in the whole world. And my experience there was honestly pretty memorable. Um, I just remember stepping forward, putting my note in, and I you have to walk backwards because that is a sign of respect. And we did go on Shabbat, which was amazing because you saw the woman of the wall and they were all praying and singing. And it honestly, and I joined them while they were singing. And I just remember feeling so surreal. I am with women from all over the world and I don't know where they all come from. And I was like, wow, I'm actually in Israel. I got involved with BBYO when I was in eighth grade because I had two counselors at my camp who were very involved in BBYO and they were like, oh, you should join. You can join in eighth grade. So I joined in eighth grade, um, but I didn't get really involved until my freshman year. My membership won because I'm a senior. My chapter in Asia came. This is the award that I got, Eternal Light Recruitment. This is my chapter life. Regional life. This is someone's gold star of Deborah, which means they're like really cool in BBYO if they got this. And all the other ones are just ones that I've gotten. Involves leadership, friendship. Um, we have different traditions, so there are, I think, six folds, and we base the folds off of programming, so there's sisterhood, Jewish heritage, community service, social action. BYO is important to me because um, I've made so many friends, and they're my best friends. I have friends at school, but my BYO friends are my closest friends, and we hang out outside of BYO. Um, it made me into a better person, I think, because I gained really great leadership skills and confidence because I've been in leadership.
leadership roles for the past three years. Um, and the skills that I gained from that just um, completely changed how I look at things and how I do things and how I talk to people. I personally did not join a youth group, but I wish I had because I could have met more Jewish people. But going to camp and going to Hebrew school really opened my eyes to what being Jewish is like and how important it is to accept your culture and know your culture because so many people don't know what it's like to be Jewish. This year I'm chapter Nasiya, and Nasiya literally means guide, so it's the president. Um, and it's been really cool to be the president because I like I kind of consider all of the little, well not the little, but <laughs> the chapter members uh, like my kids I guess because we have a lot of younger members and it's just been cool to see how strong leadership and a strong board can um, help grow a chapter and help help our region as well. I'm the executive director for Hill Council of New England which is um, an organization that works with the larger established Hillels at major universities such as Tufts and Hillel and BU, Brandeis, etc. And in, in addition, our primary work is working with the many Jewish students who attend college at small schools with small Jewish populations. I plan on joining Hillel in college because um, all of the, throughout my life, every single like organization that I've joined with other Jewish kids my age has given me great opportunities and I've always like loved being involved in them so I feel like I have to continue on in college. It was a factor looking when I was looking at schools and I can honestly say that before I joined BBYO I wasn't really like, I mean I kind of religious like I'd go to temple on the high holidays but Especially after joining BBYO, I like the Hillel was a big factor when looking at schools. Um, it didn't matter if it was a small school or, or a small Hillel or big Hillel. Strangely enough, my favorite part is when I get to interact with the students themselves because um, I've been here a very long time, but the students change every year and especially every four years. It's like it's as if you're working with a whole new, who you are working with, a, a new generation of people with, that reflect the changes that are going on in the larger Jewish community. I really do hope to join Hillel if the college has a Hillel group and I, I do think the Jewish population is important because I want to be among many other people that are like close to like my religion and I want to be able to ha enjoy Shabbat dinners on a Friday night. I think that anti-Semitism has brought the Jewish people kind of closer because, especially the teenagers, because it's been very prevalent in high schools. Um, recently in my high school, we have witnessed um, a lot of anti-Semitism um, throughout the kids in the high school. Um, it's kind of frustrating because throughout my life I've like grown up learning a lot about the Holocaust and like how important it is to like be educated on it and how awful of a time it was for like, a lot of people, not just the Jewish people. Um, so it's kind of hard when you have to hear like, Holocaust jokes as if it was like a funny time. I think there's always been anti-Semitism on campuses and some places are a lot worse. I don't believe that it's an epidemic. Uh, I think that there has been changes in terms of people feel more comfortable in attacking minor not just Jews, but minority members on campus um, in a way that I find appalling. And I think um, it's not a Jewish problem, it's a campus problem when this stuff works. And that's the other thing that positive role that Hillel can play is in terms of developing relationships with other ethnic and religious groups on campus so that we realize that we're allies. And so I have personally experienced anti-Semitism and someone threw a few coins at me and they said, go pick them up. And I was actually really hurt and I didn't speak to that person and I still don't. And um, I just find it very rude and I still hear a lot of things today about Jewish people and I just, they're, they're ignorant. I don't like take part in that. And I just say, you know what, I'm Jewish and I don't appreciate you making fun of my, my religion and who I am. And I 
think it's disrespectful and I think people don't get that if they were making if someone was making fun of their religion they'd feel the same way it is it does become strange when somebody else tells you you're this and that because they have um, notions of, of what a Jew is and sometimes it's not pleasant. I feel very lucky. I did not grow up in a Jewish neighborhood. I never felt anti-Semitism on a personal level. I will say that here in Rhode Island, where I live, um, we've had a, what looks like a bit of a resurgence in anti-Semitism in the last um, few months. But when you look at the statistics, apparently nationwide, it's actually not up. It's just more out in the open. Um, so it's an uncomfortable thing. Um, I happen to teach a Holocaust class to seventh graders, and one of the things that we start with is, you know, anti-bullying and anti, don't be anti-anything. So I do try to work it from a positive angle and, and get into it from that. I think that um, the message that I have for people is that whatever you are doing that helps you feel connected is really good and okay. And I think that we, there's a long history of people mm, sort of feeling like they needed to do it a certain way. We don't have to do it a certain way. It's one of the reasons why independent Jewish camp, by the way, is the direction in which I've chosen to take my career. Um, it's important to me that even if people don't really do the religious aspect of Judaism, they at least try to connect with like even just the culture, the so even if or if it's just the social aspect. Um, because Ju the Jewish people are a, min a minority and um, for me it's brought me closer to the Jewish community. It's important for kids to get connected and stay connected in Jewish youth groups and things like that at a young age and throughout their lives because it like keeps you closer to the religion and I feel like especially in times like now like people don't think it's like that big of a deal to like be Jewish and like but I really do believe that like it's a really like it's a great thing to like stay close with and like um, the people that you meet like going to all these youth groups and everything like that like you stay close to them for the rest of your life and you make really great friends.